What's up everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going over a couple of applications that'll help you scan and archive printed photos onto your smartphone. For those of you using an iPhone, I'm going to suggest the free application called PicScanner. Now there are tons of applications that let you scan and crop photos that you're taking pictures of, but this one is a little unique in that it lets you scan up to four photos at once. With your photos laid out, just go ahead and take a picture of them. Now make sure you can actually see their borders. Also make sure the lighting is good in the room. This will let me know when it's okay and the focus is good. Let's wait till it's solid. There you go and you're going to want to hit the shutter. After you've grabbed a good shot, just go ahead and hit use. I wasn't worrying too much on focusing on these images, so forgive me if they don't look that great. Once they're done processing, they'll be in your little gallery, and you can go check them out. They'll actually let you edit them afterwards if you need to, but they automatically crop them. They should be good to go. For all of you Android users, I'm going to suggest Heirloom. This is both available for Android and iOS, and it's pretty useful as well. Now, it has all the same functions, uh, although you can't take up to capture four images at once, you can only do one image. Though what I like about this one is that you don't really have to worry about your angle so much. Of course you want to take a good picture, but it manages to crop it even if your angle is kind of off. So let's go ahead and show you how that looks. So here's a nice looking picture of me. Just make sure you can see all the borders. And once it's focused well enough, go ahead and take that shot. Once you're done with it, if it is cropped the wrong way or something, you can edit it afterwards, as I already mentioned. And it looks pretty cool, or kind of embarrassing in my case. All the apps we went over are free, but definitely make sure you check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. All the links out to the Play Store or App Store are in there. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.